Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Oh, man. We're sitting ducks with the lights out. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. things. Wake, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it, but it all rang true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind real. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. In the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on. Let's get back to your friend. Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No. We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list, Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. Uh, hello, Mr. Breaker. This is Barry Wheeler. Yeah, I know it's late, but listen, the sheriff, Sarah, asked me to tell you. Hell, whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? to reach the rooftop to get to the other side of the broken gate.
Hey, Sheriff, your password. Night Springs? What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Never this weird, though. You need to bypass the damaged control box. What am I, an electrician? Hold on! Smarts. Good job, Wake. Okay, stick close. Our first stop is the town hall. <laughs>
I'm gonna want explanations, you know. For example, what the hell happened to Rose? She's seriously messed up now. The same thing I think happened to me after I arrived. During this week you can't remember? Oh, I remember now. Barry was in his element, making calls, making things happen, even if he didn't entirely know what those things were. He wouldn't let the hot sheriff chick down. Even if every noise he heard from outside, and he heard plenty, made him jump. He had only paused to text Al a message, told him to hurry up. Suddenly, Barry froze in mid-dial. A window broke somewhere in the building, and then the lights went out.
Let's go, Wake. Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. The story in the manuscript had been making it stronger all the time, but now the light had set the writer free and hurt it, weakened it. It was only a matter of days before the dark presence would be strong again. But meanwhile, it would be difficult to recapture the writer. The message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry. Okay, Sheriff, I got the keys. Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh, God. Oh, God. Wake. He's okay. The storefront's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back. Store. Wheeler should be waiting for us in the backyard. Keep the hell down or I'll call the sheriff. Oh, hi, Doc. <laughs> got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. 
and over Deerfest. I know. Go back to bed. He's got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. It's me they want. The sooner I get out of here, the sooner you can all get back to life as usual. I hope you're right. Come on, let me get this door open. Wait, you got the keys to the bookstore? Perks of being the sheriff. A girl needs to get around. <laughs> They're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard... Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls' abandoned power plant. She marked her caches with light-sensitive paint that could only be seen by eyes that had been touched by darkness and saved by light like she'd been. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. They're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. I don't see Barry. Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Oh. I told him to get it fixed. Let's go, Lima. Let's take a break.
I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. Here they come. Go, Viper. Let's take a break. It's open. Let's go, Wake. Wow. We keep them lit all night long on the night before Deer Fest. Why? Well, it's tradition. For it to be free, the Dark Presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript, but it could pursue the writer indirectly, put others on the task and stop those who would help him. It took over everything in its path, made them its puppets, and sent them after Alan Wake. We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Yeah, there's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. Saw the light, huh? You didn't like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. <laughs> 